Yeah, it was, uh, my father was uh, playing football also with his uh, friends and um, in the beginning I was not so interested in football. I, I remember when I was like four or five years old, but uh, then I saw some football games in the, in the television, like the Bundesliga and everything, and then I started uh, following the games of Bayern Munich, of 8060 Munich, and um, yeah, the fever and the passion got me and since then um, I'm chasing after the ball. It was my whole family, but uh, especially my parents, and they always um, supported me in every way that uh, that you can imagine. They gave me all I wanted. Um, they drove me to the trainings after when I got older and uh, I got more successful. So obviously, they had to drive me a little bit more far and uh, bigger distances, and um, they were the, my biggest support in my younger years. And obviously, now in nowadays, um, I would say it's my wife and my family my kids, um, because they are always here for me. They show me that uh, there's something more than just football, because football is, uh, is the second best thing in the world for me, because uh, it comes after my family. It's, uh, football for me is passion. I love to play it, and um, uh, my family is my life, my, my kids and uh, my wife. And, and therefore, I would say definitely that my current family, my kids and uh, my wife are the most uh, important uh, supporters of me. No, um, I just enjoyed playing football when I was younger. Let's say from the age of five or six when I started until the age I was 15, 16. I just, uh, I just never thought about playing football as a profession. I just enjoyed playing and um, obviously with them every year or every month or even every day I got better and better and people um, got more interested in me and my talent and my, my football, football uh, talents and um, therefore I changed a lot of clubs also when I was younger always one step higher one step higher um, and um, the first time I really realized I realized that I could live out of it was uh, when I got this offer of Manchester United and um, I was 16 at that time and um, obviously it was my childhood dream, my boyhood dream to play for this club because um, I was watching all the games of them when I was younger, the likes of uh, Scholes, Giggs, Beckham, uh, Bot, Giggs, they were the biggest players at that time for me and um, that was a team I always supported when I was younger. I always watched them uh, Monday evening with, uh, with a special German program where they showed the whole Premier League and um, at the uh, that time I realized that um, I can make it as a professional and um, that was for me the first moment um, I really thought about making a li living out of playing uh, football professionally. No, I think I started following the Turkish league about three, four years ago when my friend Skarione came here to Kasim Pasha and um, that was the first time I really got into Turkish football. I watched every week how his results were. And, I tried to watch games and obviously I watched the big teams like Galatasaray, uh, Besiktas, Fenerbahce when they're playing the European Championships in Europa League or Champions League and um, therefore I knew some players um, and my picture about the Turkish League is about the same what I thought before. Um, there's a lot of individual class and um, the players are very good technically and um, tactically as well. Um, the pace is a little bit lower than than, than I expected, but um, I think it has to do with the quality because the players uh, um, who are playing here on the wing or generally individual players are more talented or better than, than uh, example in Switzerland and therefore it's uh, much more difficult to play pressing over the whole field. So um, teams try to compensate that lack of quality maybe um, with tactical skills in in being uh, quite deep in the pitch and try to defend deep as a team and um, this is uh, maybe the biggest difference to, to European football. Um, if you watch like Premier League, they're playing pressing over the whole uh, field. Um, German football is quite intense, the tempo is a little bit higher. Um, yeah, so I, I think the Turkish league um, is really good uh, quality-wise. Um, so. They have really talented players and really good individual players. Yeah. 
think you can see that I feel very well. Um, the, all the club, in general, the people around the club, um, people like Chanar, <laughs> in especially now, but um, the people here, they, they are very open-minded. They help me a lot to try to put all the problems um, that you could have, they put, the, put them away for you, they, to try to make you happy. And uh, then, then it's uh, easier to perform on the pitch and to bring your, your performances on point. Um, and, um, at the moment, I'm enjoying my life here in, uh, in Istanbul with Kasim Pasha, and um, I think that uh, we got seven points out of the first four games. Um, I think it could have been one or three more, but um, in the end, we have to be happy or we have to we have to look what we have, and um, we have to progress because um, the next game against Gala will also be a very tough game, and I hope uh, that we can get something out of it. I do a lot. Um, I'm, I'm going with my family to, to discover most of the parts of, of Istanbul. Um, obviously, my wife has more time than me because um, we are training quite much. So every time I, uh, I got some few hours, I'm, I'm going with my family to, to see different parts of Istanbul. At the moment, the weather is really hot, so I've been to Kilios, to Sola Beach, for example, to, to relax, to do some regeneration with the family together. Um, last week we went to the Sultan Med, the, the Black Mosque, and um, obviously I would have loved to see more, but um, my schedule at the moment um, is not that, uh, not, not that easy that uh, I have time to go to the city and explore more, but um, I think as the season will go on and we'll have more games, we'll have more free time, and um, I will uh, try to explore the whole city, but uh, it's so big, so I think uh, I will need weeks for that. No, I tried in the last few weeks. Uh, I'm a big fan of Marvel comics, so um, I watched The Defenders, the, which is like a big uh, series now on ne Netflix. And I'm, lo I'm loving in general the Marvel comics, all of them, like uh, if it's Superman, Batman, uh, Lucas Cage, um, all of them. I think they are really good. They're Captain America. <laughs> um, what else is there? there? There are a lot. But in general, I would say Marvel comics, that it's. Uh, it's like a fantasy world, which is really funny, and um, also my kids are starting to get into it. And um, I also have a big picture at home, which is like two meters big. And uh, I, that's that, that, that one I bought last year, and it sees that I'm still a kid somehow. And um, I'm loving to give that to my kids as well, because I think it's important that they keep your joy and your happiness, um, no matter your age or no matter your situation in life. There are a lot of things. Um, I just try to be with, my, with, uh, with me and try to be with my person in, in itself uh, because many people in nowadays try to be someone else, try to be a big star or try to be, I don't know, like other people they see in the media or they see in television. I just try to be myself and have uh, fun with the people I love, my family, my friends and um, enjoy my passion, which is football. Football is my passion, is my life. And um, I'm quite happy that, uh, that, I'm, that I'm healthy and um, I can do w what I want every day, that is hustling after the ball and playing with my kids when I come home. So these are the things that keep me happy at the moment um, and I hope that uh, this will continue the next few years.